Okay guys, last real theory, like main theory lesson before we're gonna get into some of the more interesting stuff. Uh, resistor color code and variable resistors. Both very important. You can always cheat and not and not learn this stuff, but if you go into college or university for this stuff, it's fundamental stuff. So what first of all let's talk about variable resistors before we actually talk about resistor color code. Um, a variable resistor, the common schematic, schematic symbol for a uh, standard variable resistor is this. A resistor and an arrow. So the three leads to a common variable resistor. This lead is called the wiper. And it doesn't matter which end you use here because the resistors are not polarized. So how this works is you can use a variable resistor in many different, and, well, two main configurations, but you can use it for many different things. Um, you know, they come in different packages, you know, three prong packages with like a little tuner on the top, or uh, one similar to it, three prongs with a little, uh, uh, Multi-turn on the top, they come in many different sizes like 10K, 5K, 1K, you know, 500 ohms, 1 mega ohm. So there's two different ways of using it. Well, how this thing works is the wiper is, is commonly, and I've never come across one that wasn't, the middle pin. So realistically, so this is the wiper. The middle pin is, always, is by my account, so is the wiper. Sometimes you'll also see ones that are circular with the big thing in the middle, you can turn it. You've probably seen a bunch of these before. And this is in my art, I'm not much of an art student. So what this does is you can use, we'll use it as a voltage divider. And this will actually use in a lot of our stuff. This is actually what I use it for probably the most. And it's really cool, very, very helpful. Say we've got five, a fire five volt source. We plug in either pin one or three. To, the five, to our source, whatever source voltage we choose to use, and the other one to, to ground. So, as I said, this is a voltage device. So, if we're looking at it like this, we're using pin, pin 3, pin 2, pin 1, pin 3, put to ground, pin 3 will put to 5 volts. And I just commonly use 5 volts because I use 5 volts a lot. In our middle of wiper, what this is going to do is if we look at a, a variable resistor from up here, the wiper it is when you turn when you ch turn the, the variable resistor, the little knob on it. What it is is it's basically saying, are we pointing here, or are we pointing here, or are we pointing here, or are we pointing here? So realistically, if you look at it, try to look at it like that. Look at a bunch. If you tr look at it as a bunch of different resistors, a big big resistor. How much tense is? If we're looking at a 50k potentiometer. We got, uh, you know, we got. Zero, uh, you know, zero ohms and 50k ohms here. Are we pointing to the zero ohm part? Or are we talking about 10, 10k, or are we looking at the 20k area or the 50k? Uh, you're going to get different voltages along along there. So you're basically as a voltage divider. If you're just using this. I, and I change this, I'll, I will be changing the voltage here between 5 volts and 0 volts. So I can potentially get, if I take this and use my red probe of multimeter and my black probe with reference to ground, a red black probe here, then I can change this by turning this little knob on the, on the potentiometer or variable resistor and get between these two points I can get between 0 and 5 volts or 0 and 9 volts or 10 volts or whatever I have here don't want to get it too high because you can melt down the potentiometer. So it's a voltage divider circuit. This is this is a bit skewed, but it's basically moving that arrow up and down, up and down that main resistor. Saying, if I train it here, I've got 10k, I've got 20k, I've got 30k, I've got 40k, and so it's like looking at a whole bunch of different resistors almost. But trying to trying to look at it from, from that perspective. Like if you get a whole bunch of different resistors, 
1k each. If I put if I put the wiper here, I'm gonna get I'm gonna get uh, less than if I put it here. Or more, sorry, more if I get if I put it here, less if I put it here, less if I put it here, less if I put it here. Anyway, what you really need to know about this is is it is if you can if you connect once the left side or the right side to five volts and the opposite side to ground, you can get using the using the tunable uh, wiper uh, any kind any voltage in between those two points. Second configuration is really just using it as a variable resistor. In that case, what you can do is this. You use the wiper and either the right or the left, it doesn't really matter, uh, pin. And you, would, you, you, just, you just don't use either the right or the left pin. So in this case, say well, this is the front, you know, 50K, pardon my 50K, we'll use uh, from this perspective, the middle of the wiper and the left, and we'll just bend this one out and not worry about it. If we put this into a circuit and we tune this, we're basically just making the resistance between A and B higher or lower. So we're, just, we're changing the value of the resistor. We're making it higher or low. So, so basically, it's what you're what you're looking at is you're looking at a a resistor, and you're not connecting it, the, the one side to anything, you're just leaving it alone. You've got this connected to A, and you've got the wiper connected to B. So you're moving that, that wiper to the right or left by using that tunable thing. So now we've got to look at, well, those will all come into play later, and I'll talk more about them as we do. In the next lesson, we'll be doing some ship work, uh, the 555 timer, which happens to be my very favorite. Uh, hobby chip. You can use it for tons of stuff. Right now we're going to look at a uh, general resistor. Alright guys, again, not an art student. Here's, here's, here's just a normal resistor, usually a little bit smoother, rounded sides, but on a common resistor, there are four bands. So, let's just look at it from, and you can look at it, the th first three bands are usually pretty close to each other, and then the fourth band's a little bit further away. Might be closer to the end. Commonly, four bands though. So we'll say this is first band, second band, third band, and fourth band. So first band is based, is first two bands are, are simply numbers. So we'll talk about, we'll talk about right now, I'll put a whole, talk about a whole table in a minute, but for now I'm just gonna use some examples. Uh, black equals one. Uh, brown, or sorry, sorry, black equals zero. Brown equals one. Red equals two. Orange. equals three, uh, yellow equals four, green equals five, blue equals six, uh, violet or purple, purple equals seven. Gray equals eight, and white equals nine. Okay, so I ended up putting the whole table there. So black equals zero, brown one, red two, orange three, yellow four, green five, blue six, uh, violet seven, also purple. Uh, gray eight and white nine. So first two, let's just say, hmm, okay, so the th we've talked that the first two numbers are simply, the first two bands are simply two colors that represent two numbers. This will, you'll understand this in a second. The third one is a multiplier. So, and you'll see where that comes into play in a second. And the fourth one is the tolerance band. So 
I'm going to do an example. Here, let's think of a table. One, two, three, four. The band. Uh, you're not going to worry about the bands too much. Uh, by standard, gold equals five uh, percent. A five percent, a plus minus five percent tolerance, and that's what you'll commonly be using. Uh, I usually never work with anything but, so I'm, we're always just going to gold equals plus minus five percent. So let's say that we've got black. Or brown for one, brown, B R N, uh, and red for two, uh, and orange for three. Pardon my abbreviations, it's just there's not a lot of room. So we've got brown, red, orange, and gold. So what that tells us is the first two numbers, we're just going to fill in what the first two numbers are. Okay? So brown is one, red is two. We multiply that by orange, which is 3. So 1, 2, 3 zeros. 1, 2, 3. We've got a 12K resistor at plus minus 5%. So plus minus 5% means that it could be, that the final value will be, uh, you know, plus 5% of 12K or minus uh, 5. There's a small difference. So plus 5% of 12K is. So plus minus 60 ohms. So it could be up to uh, 12,060 ohms or uh, 11,940 ohms. You get you get the picture. It doesn't usually it's not usually too bothersome. Capacitors have much bigger tolerances, which can be a pain in the butt. But anyway, let's try another one. We're not going to worry about the tolerance band. If it's gold or silver, you'd be silver. You're going to know it's it's the tolerance band. Uh, let's try yellow, yellow, Y-L-W, uh, blue, and brown. So fill it out. Yellow equals four, blue equals six, brown equals one which is one zero. It's basically, at that now the third is the multipliers. How many numbers are you going to multiply the first two numbers by? How many numbers are you going to tack on the end of it? So we know that this is 460 ohms. If this was red, which is two, 400, 4.6 thousand, 4K six, 4.6 K. Let's try another one. It's really actually not that bad. As soon as you memorize this, it's easy. Easy is one, two, three. So let's try gray. G R Y white W H T and Orange. O R N G. So gray, eight. White, nine. Orange three. So what does that mean? Eight. Nine, one zero two zero three zero. Eighty nine k ohms. We're gonna keep doing this. We're gonna do a couple more. I use this one all the time. I use brown, black, and green. Can we do this together? Brown. One. Black. Zero. Green. Five zeros. One, two, three, four, five. So what do we get? One plus six zeros equals one zero 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 zero, which is one mega ohms. One million ohms is one mega ohms. So have a look at your resistors. If you feel cheap, you can measure them. But learn this table. It's fundamental stuff. You can impress your teachers with it. Anyway, this was a short lesson. But thanks again for watching.